Warriors, how they can improve their offseason and different moves they need to make and just all things Warriors. Yeah, let's do it. Jordan Poole. The Jordan Poole move. Okay, we'll kick I, it off with the Jordan Poole right. move. I was first, uh, at first I was happy because I was like pissed at the, I was pissed at the playoffs that he sold and so yeah. like I was already pissed at Clay him, but now that I think of it, I wish they would have kept him because I wish that he had another shot by them because he really isn't like horrible. He just was used to playing like he was before and he had a couple good series. He, he just thought that he was all that and then this year would have humbled him. I think he'll be better on Portland than he's ever been. Portland? Or not Portland, Washington. I don't know. But I think that they should give another chance. Another chance. Well, my perspective on the Jordan Poole deal is is uh, Jordan Poole had it. They gave him that massive extension, and if they didn't move him away, then they wouldn't have been able to re-sign Draymond. So I think that's the major reasoning behind it. Yeah. But what I don't get is why they traded for Chris Paul. Like Chris Paul. I okay. <laughs> I have let to me, stop you because let, Chris Paul. I hate Chris Paul. I cannot stand him. I, I just hate him. But the fact that I, I know that they got him because now Steph can take more rests. He, when then he, they need somebody in the backcourt that can run the offense and not just hook up stupid-ass shots like Jordan Poole. Chris Paul's that guy. He's old. He, like, he can pass. He can, he's a smart player, and he'll be that guy for them. He doesn't need to do too much, and as long as he's not trying to do too much, that's what we want him to do. And I think that that is a good, good option to get. I think Chris Paul was a good move for them to get. But I feel like Washington was going to buy him out either ways. So I think they could have got, got him for not having to give up Jordan Poole. Yeah. I think the Jordan Poole trade should have been used to get them the center that they need. Because Kevon Looney is I, great. I love Kevin Looney, but they need someone, they need who, can someone who can start in the, in the offense. Yeah, Kevin Looney is a great rebounder in the playoffs, and he always steps up and does what he needs to do. But we need someone that can also score. Because he, unfortunately, Kevin Looney, misses wide open layups, and yeah. he doesn't know how to control it. Well, we honestly, somebody... I think they should have done is in that Washington trade, they should have tried to get Daniel Gafford because he would have been the perfect player to play with the Warriors. I want Jaron Jackson Jr. Yeah. I that... want a way to get... I would have traded Clay and Jordan Poole, and I don't, I don't know who else I'd trade. I would trade Clay and Jordan Poole just to get Jaron Jackson. Yeah. And a couple picks in the future. But the Grizzlies wouldn't do that. The Grizzlies are already stupid, and, well... Ja is doing Ja things. So maybe they'll, they're just mad enough to just give away Jaren Jackson. Hey, I don't think so. The Grizzlies hey. have been making some pretty good moves. Bringing in Marcus Smart, that was a really good move. That was stupid for the Celtics. For the, for the Celtics, that wasn't stupid at all. I think it was okay. a good move for the Celtics, too. Chris Tapps Porzingis is great. If he can play enough games, that, I think the Celtics Wait, are no. like... No, that was good for the Celtics. I yeah. Don't know why I, said I meant it was bad for the Grizzlies. It wasn't bad for the Grizzlies. Well, I think it was. Because Marcus Smart plays good with the Celtics. And I don't think he'll be as good with Memphis. He's good they, they just gave up, like, Tyus Jones. I know. But I just don't think that he'll... Pitch. They think... Grizzlies think that Marcus Smart's going to be Marcus Smart, and I don't think he will be. He's good because all he has to do is play lockdown perimeter defense, and he has scores around him like Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. And, like, Desmond Bain when Desmond Jaw Bain comes back. Desmond Bain is great. I love... Yeah, but Jaw's a freaking moron, and he's not going to come back for the rest of the year. No. They gave him a 25-game suspension, and he's coming back after that. And then he's going to do something. No, he's not. Well, he... I'm so sorry. I feel so bad for doing that. Does it again. That's true. He's an idiot, and he's going to do something stupid again. He can't control himself, and he acts like he was the one that made the apology. He did not make it. It was his PR team. He literally never would say that. It was chat GPT. Yeah, it was. It was 100% not out of his mouth. It's stupid. I hate y'all, and I don't think that the Grizzlies will be a championship contender team for a while. You also just really hate the Grizzlies. I I hate them, but a couple like last year, I thought that they were a championship contender team. Close. They had defense. They had it all. And yeah, I didn't. I didn't see them. I didn't see them losing to the Lakers. But then they. I just, then they sold. Yeah, I just. I don't, know. I don't think that they'll be anywhere near that because once Ja comes back, I would be pissed if I was the coach. Like no way would I just go back to normal. I will, I would trade Ja as soon as I can. I wouldn't trade Ja. ja I can't have that player on my team. I can't have it. I think they, they won't get as much return for Ja as he's worth. Yeah, I agree. But I think as good as he is, he is a horrible teammate to have. When he's doing that stuff and setting that kind of example, he needs to be a leader. Well, I think that's the... part of the reason why they brought in Marcus Smart. He can play a guard in case. <laughs> no. They have, to get a backup <laughs> option. they have to get a backup option just in case Ja's out there. Well, they're... they already had the best backup point guard in the league. 
and Tyus Jones. And they moved him to get Marcus Smart. I think I Marcus like Smart, is, he's a great locker room guy, great defensive guy, and he can help coach up the players so they're not as stupid. Oh! That was funny. Going back to what we were saying with the Warriors needing a center. Like, what do you think the perfect center would be? Like, I, I, What if they got Porzingis instead of um, Celtics? Instead of the Celtics? That would be amazing. I think Porzingis would be great because Porzingis fits the system. He can shoot threes. It could even be a cheaper option like Kelly Olynyk. I think... Never will I ever want to see Kelly Olynyk in a Warriors jersey. I hate Kelly Olynyk. Okay. More than anything. And he's ugly, and that makes it worse. Cause I, I think Kelly Olynyk would be a perfect fit on the Warriors. I, I would rather have... Well, of course I'd rather have Porzingis. But he, as old as he is, he's good still. And he He's can, not that old. He's getting old. He's, he's like not 28. in his prime. He's past his prime. I think he's back. He just put prime. up the best numbers of I his know, career. But I don't think he's still in his prime. His prime was on the next. But he doesn't need to do all that if we already have Steph and Draymond and Wiggins and Looney. Because as long as he can be there, and of course he's going to get rebounds. Of course he's going to be a defender. Looney can't contest everything. Like... He's not big enough to contest. Like, AD smashed him. Like, R- R- like Looney's job is to grab boards. Mm-hmm. That's and, his and job. If Porzingis can lock down, defend in the paint, he will guard AD. I Looney think the perfect the center for the Warriors, I don't think they can get him. There's no chance to get him. But Miles Turner would be perfect. Yeah, I love Miles Turner. He's a great three-point shooter. I think they should get, like, M- Much improved. He's... <laughs> Okay, who are they going to trade to get you on it? I want to get Bull Bull in the Warriors jersey so bad. I freaking love Bull Bull. Bull so Bull, he's because so good. He's a terrible defender. Yeah, but he's good. He's he's just highlights plays. He makes he has. That's what the Warriors are. <laughs> That's how we win. Highlight plays. Bull Bull. I love Bull. Bull. Might be the dumbest on court player in the NBA. His basketball IQ is like what about Nick negative. Young? Nick Young isn't in the NBA. <laughs> All right. You probably only know who Nick Young is because of D'Lo. No, I knew Nick Young on the Wizards. On the Wizards? Yeah. Okay. That's when most of his stupid plays happen. That's he was fair. an idiot on the Wizards. Anyway, Lakers, he was pretty good, actually. Underrated. I like him. I want... I, okay. This is so random, but I want Kelly Oubre back so bad. Because I love Kelly Oubre so much. He's one of my favorite players. And it pissed me off. Because when he went to the Warriors, he shot 12% from three for the entire season. Goes to Charlotte and shoots the best he's ever shot in his life. I'm like... I think Kelly Oubre would be great for the Warriors. He's a great defender. He's, a, he's an he's, all right defender. I think he's, he's, a great he's not a great defender. But I think Kelly Oubre would be good considering they moved Jordan Poole, so they have someone to score off their bench unit. So they have Chris Paul to facilitate. Kelly Oubre is just a great. And Kelly Oubre to score. Kelly Oubre is great at doing what he needs to do. He doesn't try to do too much either, and that's what I hate about certain players. Jordan Poole tries to do too much. Yeah. And it pisses me off because he's not good at what he thinks. He doesn't, he's not at the level he thinks he is. Just like Clay's not at the level he thinks he still is. He used to be. Not anymore. He tries to do too much, and I hate it. Kelly Oubre's not like that, and I, lo- and I love Kelly Oubre. I want to get your take on these two players, okay? Like Moses them. Moody and Jonathan Kuminga. Should they stay I or should they not? I love Kuminga. I think Kaminga is a young guy that knows what his role is in the Warriors, and he's not, again, he's not going to try to do too much. He won that championship by doing what he needed to do. He got in there. He, I love Kaminga. I don't like Moses Moody at all. Do you think they should move Kaminga or Moses Moody? Moses Moody. For what? Because Moses Moody, I think his, he's still a young player. He still has potential, yeah. but he doesn't have good value right now. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And he was a, a, like a top. Kaminga doesn't have amazing value either. Because he's, he's a bench guy. He's young. But I want him because I think that he can become a great forward that's future. true so and you think, so you're opposed to moving kuminga yeah. for a win now move yeah i no. i think that we should wait because we already have if we our team now if we start playing together again we have a win now team the warriors won it two years ago the only thing they had was jordan Poole, and we as much i don't know if we could have won it without him that year of course he saved us but if Wiggins plays like he did, Steph they plays definitely like need he did, Wiggins to. We need everybody play like to play full out. We have a win now team, one hundred percent. Steph, amazing. Clay, when he can be, he can be good. He can't be great anymore. He can be good. He's a good shooter, not as good of a defender as he used to be. He's good as long as he doesn't take stupid shots. He just has to play in his role, catch yeah. and shoot. Exactly, but he doesn't need to do all this fade away out of the corner shots when he doesn't need to. He needs to actually like move in the offense. Um, Andrew Wiggins. Great shooter, and he's a great mid range shooter. He's a good three point shooter when he's open. He he's good at getting open. He's a good shot creator, and I think that he's a great player when he tries his hardest. He's a good defender. He locked up LeBron as much as anyone else could in the league. Anyone else in the league, except for like 
The, the only other player that I think is better at locking up LeBron would be Giannis. Because Giannis is bigger, of course. Zion, maybe. Zion? Yeah. Zion is a horrible defender. Oh, no, I know, but when he guards LeBron, he's big. And LeBron can't do what he tries to do to everyone else. As Zion's too slow to be a good defender now. But I think that Wiggins is up there with the top tier defender on ball. And we have Draymond, who's a great floor spacer. He's a great creator for other people, and he's a good leader of the team. I need him to stop running his stupid mouth. Pissing me off, because he gets stupid-ass technicals when he can avoid them. It's dumb. If he plays like that and he stops talking, he's still great in my mind. I think he's a great player. He's He doesn't need to do all... He doesn't need to be a scorer. He's not good at that. That's not what he's. That's not what his role is. We have so many scores, we don't need that. Chris Paul on the bench now. We have someone in for the second option that can run the offense. If we get someone like Kelly Oubre, of course, he's another shooter. He's another player that can actually do stuff. Looney, great rebounder. He's a good defender when... He's not getting posted up by 80. <laughs> but I think that we have, and um, crap, what's that dude's name? I can't remember. Who's, he's been balling in the summer league, and he is literally like Jordan Poole 2.0. Braden Podomiski. I don't, I, think I, so. he's I, like, I, I don't, I don't know his. He plays pronounce his name. Just like Jordan Poole. I think. I have think. Have seen the way he shoots? It's identical to Jordan Poole's shot, and he's great in the summer league right now. If we have him off the bench, great. What? Well, I've noticed with Braden is he's actually a really good on-ball defender. Mm-hmm. Like, he, he, he can really, like, he can get steals. Mm-hmm. But as, as good as Braden is, I want to get your take on potentially the steal of the draft, Trace Jackson Davis, I, think, I believe is his name. Is he, he was like the 50, 57th, 57th overall pick. Yeah, and he was the steal of the draft for sure. He's, I've seen some of his stuff. I mean, I don't know. Maybe my Jazz got the steal of the draft with Keontae George. Yeah, he's been he's, he, he's been elite. But Victor was the steal. Victor. I want to get Victor on the Warriors, bro. That'd be sick. I mean, that would. If we got like, if we traded Looney for Victor, Giannis for like Andrew Wiggins, that'd be pretty good. Yeah, but that's never gonna happen. Prime MJ for Clay, that'd be pretty nice. It's like a two K. I wish we had a time machine. That'd be pretty. Anyways, um, have you watched Trace Jackson Davis play like in college? Have you watched his highlights? I saw his highlights. Yeah, I looked at him. I haven't seen him in the summer league. I haven't been watching. I've seen I've seen him I've seen some of his highlights and that's because I saw that he I saw everybody talked about the other draft of him when I saw that pick I was like okay so then I looked at his highlights he looks like a baller in mock drafts I've seen Trace go as high as a like a twenty tw- around twenty two twenty one mm-hmm. and he fell all the way down to fifty seven what do you think made him fall that far I honestly have no idea like I feel like it comes down to health concerns that's a problem with a lot of things you see Cam Whitmore it could be like motivation. That's the most. Mentality. That's all of what it usually is: is health in terms of injuries, stuff like that. If they think that you're going to be a liability for them, they're not going to pick you. Because Cam Whitmore was projected to go fourth overall, mm-hmm. he fell down to twenty because he, he's been balling. He's been balling, but he fell down all the way to twenty because he has a, at least from what NBA scouts have said, he has a bad mentality and he's unhealthy. And like diet wise, like he vapes like, and stuff. He vapes and he's yeah. in the NBA? Yeah. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. Why do you need to vape if you're in the NBA? That's a, this, that's a good question. How can you be <laughs> But, um, I, I don't know what could have made him. But I'm glad it did, because now we have him. My team has Now, him. I have probably what you're going to want to talk about the most. Do you think Steph will continue to play at the same level he's played these yes. last few seasons? Yes, 100%. When do you think you'll see Steph start to regress? I think he's got a couple more years in him. Because... I think Steph comes down to durability, how well, well he can not be injured. Because his, he has the type of game that he doesn't need to be too yeah. physical to play. Exactly. He doesn't need, he, that's what I was going to say. He has a lot more time than other people could have because his game, you can stay out on the three-point line and shoot, and that's what he does, but he also still does, obviously, and does everything else. But if you're old and you, all you can do is shoot in the corner, he can do that and he can knock down. Like, yeah. he will have... Like, you see Kyle Korver. He stayed in the prime. NBA for a long yeah. time. And he... That's and he, what I feel he, like he Steph was a knockdown shooter later, like, when he's really old. But right now, Steph has... I thought that Steph was going to regress a few years ago. Like, when I saw him start, like, 2020, I thought I was, like, MVP season 2015, 2016. Like, he's probably not going to be his prime anymore. But, all of a sudden, in the past few years, he has been unstoppable, amazing, put up his MVP... MVP season last year, and he is obviously my favorite player of all time. I think he's top five all time now. He passed Magic for me after he got that last ring finals MVP. I, I think he, I have him at 10. I have him at four. Jeez. Well, I have, I have MJ, and then I have LeBron, but those two are interchangeable. Like, I don't argue. I, I think it's MJ. I think it is too, but if LeBron keeps doing what he's doing, I've never, we've never seen a player do this for this long. Like He's amazing still, and I hate 
LeBron. To have even an argument, I think LeBron has to win at least one more. That, yeah, one that's more what championship. I mean. That's, uh, if he wins one more, I think it's obvious. But I still don't mean it. It just LeBron. depends. But I think also... He has to win a championship, a and it has to be for, I mean, because of LeBron. Yeah, it can't be a Tracy McGrady championship. Yeah, <laughs> that, that is the... I love T-Mac so much, though. But T-Mac had no playoff success whatsoever. Oh, he didn't even win a playoff series no. until he went to the Spurs. But he was still... I Okay, oh, also, okay, this is off topic. But I had this conversation with my uncle yesterday because he's a big Kobe fan. Yeah? I told him I think Trace McGrady is on the same level of scoring that Kobe is. I think he's the same level scorer as Kobe, and he thought it was insane. I think Trace I think McGrady... It's, I think it is pretty insane. You, you don't, I think, you don't, I think you don't that's agree? insane. You don't agree? T-Mac was an elite scorer. But... He was amazing. At I time. think Kobe Bryant is up there with MJ in level of score. I don't think he's up there with MJ. MJ didn't have to have the ball in his hands every single play. Kobe literally took every single shot. So, of course, he's going to be a good scorer. Tracy McGrady was, in my mind, top five scorer of all time. Easily. I think KD is number one. Scorers. I do. And MJ is number one. MJ is number two. I think LeBron is probably number four. I think LeBron's game isn't revolved around scoring. He, he, he can do I, everything. But the fact that he put up... He's had multiple 50-point games in the playoffs. Like, he's just amazing and he can do whatever he needs to do to win he i think lebron's up there at four i think kobe is might be at three and t-max probably at five as much as you dislike the old head i guess you'd say basketball you can't leave will chamberlain out there right? after, like the after only those re- i don't hate that i just don't think that there's there's not a lot that's of, true. like that's why i don't like, put him up there will chamberlain bill russell bill like russell all those players that much of a no, I'm not talking about just. Oh, okay. I'm not yeah. talking. No, about, he, he, was, he was. He was. He was not a scorer. But he was not a scorer. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about just those players from back then. They're I hard. I put Bill Russell in my top ten. Yeah, but they're hard to evaluate. Yeah, because they didn't have. They had way less teams in the league. They had way, way less more talent in the league. Like, I don't like the take that they played against plumbers. The players who still played then were good, but yeah. it's just the but level of competition isn't what talent. it is now. Yeah, and they had way less teams. They had way less competition, of course. But you still got to give him 11 rings. That's exactly. That, that is amazing. That's unheard of. It's insane. And I. that's why I put Wilt so low is because Wilt and him went on like head to head. And Bill Russell won every won time. Every single time. As good as people say Wilt was, he didn't even win once against Bill Russell. Like there's no shot that you can put him above Bill Russell. Bill Russell stopped no, him. Bill, Bill Russell is my fourth all time. He is six foot nine as a center. Wilt Chamberlain is seven foot or seven foot one. Got destroyed by Bill Russell every single time. He could score against other people, and there's not a lot of proof of him. So I don't put him top. I don't put him top five scoring all time. I I could put him in my top ten. I, I think can't. Bill Russell is the greatest defender of all time, minus Hakeem Olajuwon. I think Hakeem's the best defender. Of all yeah, Hakeem's the best. I think D Rob's up there too. Oh, <laughs> yeah, David Robinson. I you meant Duncan Robinson for a second. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Duncan Robinson? No, <laughs> D Rob is. One of the most underrated centers of all time. No, he's one of the most underrated players Player, of yeah. all time. I just think that I put him in my top, like, obviously top 10 centers of all time. I think probably the best defender of all time is Rudy Gobert. Oh, yeah? <laughs> and second is probably uh, Marcus Cousins. Okay, that's actually true. Shut up. <laughs> the, well, okay. I put my I put T-Mac up there because I think he is obviously top five scorer of all time. I think he's up there with Kobe. I think that Kobe was a way better player than him because obviously Kobe is he won what six all defensive titles? All defensive titles. Like he was a great defender. T Mac didn't do that. He won championships. He carried his team. He he was a leader. T Mac couldn't succeed in that sense. But scoring wise, I take Kobe one on one with T Mac. I don't know who I take. Right. It's been it's been great, Jackson. Okay, I'll be back. I'll be back. He will be back. All right. See you later, cuz. Good jiggas. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. That's Crime Talk. Bye.